page 103. Poem 6. Aunt Jennifer's Tigers About the poet, Adrian Rich, 1929, was born in Baltimore, Maryland, USA. She is widely known for her involvement in contemporary women's movement as a poet and theorist. She has published 19 volumes of poetry, three collections of essays and other writings. A strong resistance to racism and militarism echoes through her work. The poem Aunt Jennifer's Tigers addresses the constraints of married life a woman experiences. Before you read, what does the title of the poem suggest to you? Are you reminded of other poems on tigers? Now the poem. Aunt Jennifer's tigers prance across a screen, bright topaz denizens of a world of green. They do not fear the men beneath the tree. They pace in sleek chivalric certainty. Aunt Jennifer's fingers fluttering through her wool find even the ivory needle hard to pull. The massive weight of uncle's wedding band sits heavily upon Aunt Jennifer's hand. When aunt is dead, her terrified hands will lie still ringed with ordeals she was mastered by. The tigers in the panel that she made will go on prancing, proud and unafraid. Denizens means a person, an animal or a plant that lives, grows or is often found in a particular place. And sleek here means elegant. Page 104 Think it out, number one. How do denizens and chivalric add to our understanding of the tiger's attitudes? Number two, why do you think Aunt Jennifer's hands are fluttering through her wool in the second stanza? Why is she finding the needle so hard to pull? Number three, what is suggested by the image massive weight of uncle's wedding band? Number four, of what or of whom is Aunt Jennifer terrified with in the third stanza? Number five. What are the ordeals Aunt Jennifer is surrounded by? Why is it significant that the poet uses the word ringed? What are the meanings of the word ringed in the poem? Number six, why do you think Aunt Jennifer created animals that are so different from her own character? What might the poet be suggesting through this difference? Number seven, interpret the symbols found in this poem. Number eight, do you sympathize with Aunt Jennifer? What is the attitude of the speaker towards Aunt Jennifer? Notice the colors suggested in the poem. And notice the repetitive use of certain sounds in the poem. Page 